guys and welcome back to my channel. I looked orange in that clip. Um, I was just doing this, I was just testing out the new update. Speaking of the new update, it's amazing. <laughs> but if you're new here, please consider subscribing and like this video if you like it. So today's video is how to make a widget and you can like change what your apps look like so they're customizable that the update doesn't say it but you can so i keep all my intro short and sweet so let's go so the apps that you will need are shortcuts photo widget and color widget then if you want to put like a picture on your app that you like then the only app that you're going to need is shortcut but if you want to make a widget then you only need, I think, color widget, but if you want to put a photo, then I think you need photo widget. I don't know. It's something like that. If, like me, you want to put um, a, a cute little picture on your apps that, like, represents the app, then the only app that you'll need is shortcuts. So let's start with that first. So it doesn't take long, but it is a process. So let me just show you. So first you're gonna look up what picture you want to show up on the app that you choose. So I just looked up a butterfly, so I'm just gonna choose this one. Then on the picture, you're gonna wanna hold it down until it pops up with save to photos and other options, but you're gonna wanna press save to photos. Then go to shortcuts and in the top right corner, there should be a plus sign. Press the plus sign and then press add attachment. Press add attachment. It should say, um, it should pop up with this little search bar and then in the search bar, press type in open app, not open apps with an S, open app. Once you've typed that in, it should show up with this thing that says choose, I mean open and then choose. So press choose and then type in what app you want, any app that you have that you want with the picture. Once you've done that, it should say open and then whatever app you chose. And then in the top right hand corner, there should be this, these three dots with a circle around it and it's blue. So press that and then it should pop up with this thing and then somewhere it should say add to home screen. So press add to home screen and then it should pop up with um, type in shortcut name. So then type in whatever name you want it to be. And then beside that, there should be a little box with like a blue ring around it, I think. So press the box and then it should say, take photo, choose photo and another option. So press choose photo and then pick whatever photo that you added to your, you know, photos. Then once you've done that, you can zoom in and zoom out and, um, put the picture so half of it's in the frame and half of it isn't then once you've done it to your liking at the bottom right hand corner it should it should say choose and then once you've pressed that in the top right hand corner it should say add so press add and then it should say a little check mark saying that it's saved to home screen once it said that then you can go out of shortcuts and then you should see it in your home screen either the first section or the second section and then if you just hold down in any part of the screen as long as it's not on an app um it should put like little minus signs on all of in the left top hand corner of every app and then you can just move the app where you want it to go and that's it so i deleted it because I had no use for it. So you just hold down and it should pop up with delete bookmark and it's as easy as that. How you make a widget is a lot easier. So all you do is go to color widgets 
and then it should show up with a bunch of options that you can do and then you can either press one of those options or you can look up online a picture that you like I chose butterflies as you could tell from the beginning um, so then you just save what picture you want um, and then you add it to photos and then you go to color widget and then at the bottom it should say add image or add picture I don't know and if you press that it should show up with your photos and then you add whichever one you picked or you can change the color or the font and you can change the size too any of that will work and then you press set widget so then set the widget press set widget and then it should be saved somewhere on your screen and then I believe if you just hold down anywhere on the screen as long as it's not on an app or the widget you can then edit where everything is so then do that and then move the widget wherever you want if you need to so yeah that's it I would say that adding the um the pictures to the apps is not harder but just longer yeah, now i will show you um just my screen what my thing looks like guys so it is that simple that easy and that's really all you have to do and it i think it took kenley's not even done doing all her apps because she does all of her apps and once you start guys, if you're gonna be committed to it then go ahead start doing one but once you start you cannot stop literally it took me and kenley two days two whole days to do it six hours but yeah i think the ios 14 update is really cool so yeah that's all you have to do to customize your iphone i really hope you enjoyed and are you gonna customize your iphone get to like subscribe and come back for the next one bye